वेलकम टू राज इंफॉर्मेटिका प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल राज इंफॉर्मेटिका फ्रॉम यूट्यूब देर आर मेनी यूजफुल इंफॉर्मेटिका यूनिक्स वर आई कल एंड आई एस एस वीडियो अवेलेबल इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल कमेंट एंड लाइक दैम इफ यू लाइक ऑल्सो दिस इज माई वेबसाइट राज इंफॉर्मेटिका डॉट कॉम इट इज हैविंग मेनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वराकल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आई एस एस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन and also we have uh, different materials uh, uh, like power center oracle unix data warehousing so we have different uh, <clears throat> materials also we have so in my website you can these are the most frequent uh, interview questions asked in the interview for iss and power center both so please keep browsing my website rajinfo.com for more updates so these are the interview questions available here now today our topic is how to load first and last records to a single target for example i have a source which is having the nine records i wanted first record and last record send it to target this is our requirement this can be done by using power center so i will show you this how to in power center okay i already imported source and targets so now create a mapping am underscore customers customers first and last yes please so take the source customers take the target customers first and last so this is what we have so now what we will do first is so this is the source and target so take an expression transformation first in the expression send every column to expression from source qualifier in expression generate the sequence numbers generate the numbers for each record so without using sequence generator we can still generate the numbers so create one port called v underscore serial number let it be integer variable put so for this serial number you give v so for v underscore serial number you give v underscore serial number plus 1 okay v underscore serial number plus 1 and uh, you create one output put called o underscore serial number integer and o underscore serial number equal to v underscore serial number v underscore serial number so what it will do it will give the sequence it will give the numbers for each record for each record it will give the expression will give the sequence numbers for example so what it will give so this is our source correct okay so v underscore serial number what it will do v underscore serial number it will give 1 to 3 4 because v underscore serial number equal to v underscore serial number plus 1 this is v underscore serial number and o underscore serial number equal to v underscore serial number so o underscore serial number contains these numbers okay that is how you can generate the sequence numbers in expression without using a sequence generator you can use sequence generator also but i want to show you a different method that's it so v underscore serial number v variable put and o underscore serial number equal to v underscore serial number okay then take the filter so send everything to filter in the filter you write a condition o underscore serial number equal to 1 so that it load first record only o underscore serial number equal to 1 means it load only first record to target this record it will load to target i hope everyone understood how to load first target how to load the first record to target i hope everyone understood yes please and then connect customer to create one this is about first first one. send first record to target so filter i given o underscore serial number equal to 1 next Okay, the next one is take an aggregator, and from source qualifier, send it to aggregator, and copy the same. So select this target, edit, copy, edit, paste. So I am using two instances of the same target. I am using two instances of the same target. From aggregator, you send everything to everything to target. Okay, the same target. In aggregator, don't use any group by port. 
if you don't give any group by protein aggregator, aggregator will give last record to target. Aggregator will give last record to target. So when you don't use any group by in aggregator, what will happen? So it will give last record to target. It will give last record to target. This is how it will work. Okay, so we got first and last records. So now I'll create a workflow on session. I'll create a workflow on session. WF underscore yes. Finish. Go to workflow manager. Go to workflow manager. And uh, you got the first and last. Configure the source and targets. So give the relation connection for source, relation connection for target. This is the relation connection for target, bulk to normal, and give truncated load so that so that I will get a give truncated load so that if any records on target, it will delete. So same target connection, target connection, bulk to normal. This one, okay, apply, okay, save. So now run the workflow. So my source is this. If you see my source, if you see my source, select start from customers. Now which two records will load? 177 and 174. The first record is 177 in source. And the last record in source is customer ID 174. So those two should load to target. I am running the workflow. So it load only two records to target. If you see here, one record, one record loaded. So same target, two records loaded. Check the target now. Select star from the target table name. Read the target table name. If you see here, it loaded first record and last record. The first record in the source is 177. And the last record in source is 174 customer ID. So the same thing, it has come here. If you see here, 177, 174. This is how you can send the first record and last record to target. So in the interview, if they ask you how to load first and the last record to target, you can explain like this. I have created a source. And I have created two instances of the same target. From source qualifier, I have a drag of the expression. In expression, I have created a, a variable port, V underscore serial number. Integer port, I have given V underscore serial number equal to V underscore serial number plus one. And I created one output port, O underscore serial number, that is equal to V underscore serial number. Then I created a filter after expression. In the filter, I have given in the filter, I have given one underscore serial number equal to one and connected to first target. That will give the first record. From the same source, source qualifier, I have dragged to aggregator. In aggregator, I did not create any group reports so that it will load or oh, it will take the last record and I have connected to target. So this is how this is how you can load first and last record to target. This is how you need to explain it in the interview. I hope you have enjoyed my video. So please uh, keep uh, watching, keep browsing my rajinpune.com for more materials and also interview questions. So you will be having interview questions and materials. And also please subscribe my channel, YouTube channel Rajinformatica. And please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. Thank you.